false. Before dealing with a group of system of forces, it is necessary to examine the properties of a single force in the sum details. A force has been defined in chapter 1 as force is an action of one body or another. In dynamics, we will see that a force is defined as an action which tend to cause acceleration of a body. A force is a vector quantity because its effects depend on the direction as well as on the magnitude of the action on the direction as well as the magnitude of the action Thus, force may be combined according to the parallelogram law of vector addition. According to the parallelogram law of vector addition. The action of cable tension on the bracket, for example, in this chapter, in this figure, for example, consider this picture, we have an example of force, in this picture, the action of cable tension on the brackets in figure 2a, 21a, this picture, we have a cable tension here, is represented in the side view with figure 2ab, this figure, as we can see in this picture, the force represented by the force vector P
of magnitude where the magnitude of force P or P the effect of this action depends on P the angle theta as shown in the picture and the location of the point of application A. Point A. This figure shows the changing any of these three specification will alter the effect of the bracket such as the force in one of the boards which secure the bracket to the base or the internal force and deformation in the material of the bracket at any point. Thus, the complete specification of the action of a force must include its magnitude, direction, and point of application. The complete specification of the action of a force Action of a force must be includes its magnitude. Direction and point of application. And therefore, we must treat it as a fixed vector. The next video is about uh, external and internal effects of forces.